Okay, let's say we're doing another markup problem. Let's say for markup, the original price is $60. Original price of a shirt is $60. And then everybody wants the same shirt. Everybody wants their shirt. So now the people that make their shirts are like, oh, you know what? Let's charge more. So they're going to mark it up. And they're going to mark it up by 80%, let's say. Okay, and we need to find what's going to be the new price of the shirt. So we're going to go ahead and multiply the original price, which is 60, times the percentage, which is 80%. Move it 1, 2. So we're going to multiply by 0 0.80. Multiply, zero, and divide by itself. And then we go to the tens place. Eight times zero is going to be zero. And then eight times six is going to be 48. And we have to move it decimal places two times. Two places, one, two. So it's going to be, they're going to mark up $48 more than the original price. So like I said before, that's, Step one, okay. Step two is gonna do. Step two is you're gonna add your original price, which is sixty, plus the markup, which is forty-eight dollars. So now we're gonna do sixty plus forty-eight dollars. So we're gonna add that up. Zero plus eight is eight. And then 6 plus 4 is 10. So your final price is going to be $108. Okay? Now, another way we can solve it is that we actually focus on what we're going to be paying. Okay? So now, we know that the markup is going to be 80%. So we're going to multiply the original price, which is $60, We're going to multiply that by the markup, but we know that it's going to be more than 100. So we're actually going to pay 180, which is going to be 1.80. So when we multiply 60 times 1.80, our answer is going to be 108. So our new price for that for that is going to be a hundred dollars and eight a hundred and eight now we're going to be talking about another problem in discount let's say i wanted to buy a sweater with original price 150 but because i waited until the summer they have a sale now so the original price of the sweater that i want is 150 dollars but since i waited until the summer and now it's discounted at, at 60%. And okay, we're gonna find what's, what am I gonna pay at the end with the discount. So we're gonna go ahead, multiply 150 times, I'll move it two spaces, 0. 0.60. I'm gonna multiply 150 times 0. 60 because 60% 60 is discounted. Now we're going to leave zero by itself. By itself. Then we're just going to move on to the tenths place. And zero times six is going to be zero. And six times five is going to be 30. Zero, carry the three. And six times one is six. Plus, don't forget to add your three. It's going to be nine. So we're going to move it two spaces. One, two. So the discount I'm going to get in that is going to be $90. So that's the first step, right? Second step is going to be take your original price, which is $150. Minus 
your discount which is ninety dollars and one fifty zero minus zero is zero five minus nine you can't so we're gonna borrow because it's zero because it's fifteen and fifteen minus nine is gonna be six so my final price for that item is going to be $60. Okay. Now, that's the first method. The second method we can do is we go back to 150 original price. Now we're going to multiply and we're going to focus on what we're going to pay. We're not going to pay 100%. We're not going to pay 60%, but we're going to pay 40%. Why are we going to pay 40%? Because we're going to subtract 100% from 60% because that's how much the discount is. The discount is 60%. So 100 minus 60 is going to give us 40, which is going to be 40%. Turn that 40% into a decimal, 0.40. So then we multiply 150 times 0.40 is going to give us the same answer as 60. Next example, we're going to be talking about tax. I want to buy a computer, a new computer, and the original price on the computer is going to be $720. Now the tax on that computer is going to be 10%. Now I'm going to need to find the new price, the final price of what I'm going to pay for the computer after I have to pay taxes on that. Okay, So we're going to do 720 times 10%. We're going to move decimal place. 1, 2. So we're going to multiply by 0.10. Give the zero. We're gonna to go to the tens place. One times zero is gonna be zero. One times two is gonna be two. And one times seven is gonna be seven. There's two places, we're gonna go one, two. So the tax on that computer is gonna be seventy-two dollars. So that's step one we completed. Step two now is gonna Go, we're gonna add the original price, which is 720, plus the tax, which is $72. Zero plus two is two, seven plus two is nine, and seven plus zero is seven. So at the end, when I go and pay for the computer, I'm going to be paying $792 for that computer. That's one way to solve it. The other way to solve it, same thing. Go put original price, which is $720. Now we're going to focus on what we're going to pay. Okay? And we're actually paying $120. 10% because we know that we have 100% but we're going to add 10% more so it's going to be 1.10 when we multiply 720 times 1.10 we're going to get the same answer of 792 